Welcome to 1970s Dream Hair. Now, obviously, I'm going to be doing this on my short hair, but it can translate to longer hair as well. It'll just look a bit different. All right, so we need a brush, crocodile clips, curling iron, and of course, hairspray. Now, you wanna brush your hair, finding the center point in your head. For me, this is gonna look a little bit more like a line, but do your best. If your hair needs to be smoothed out, you might wanna straighten it first, or whatever you can to get it a little bit smoother. All right, so now we are going to be sectioning from that back focal point. We are curling back toward that point, away from our face. And the whole point of this is that you're trying to make a circle of curls going outward from your head. Now I know that might sound a little bit confusing, but you will see more as we go. Now when you form your curl, you want to make sure you keep it three-dimensional and put that crocodile clip in. You do not want to press it to your head. You want as much volume as possible. Now you can see as I'm going toward the sides, I'm kind of going out with the curling iron rather than up and back because that is the direction that my hair is going anyway. All right, so now for the back, you can kind of do the top half separated from the bottom half, mostly because they are very different lengths and they will not curl together well. And see, we are doing the same thing on the bottom half. All right, let's do it on the other side. Again, curling away from the face. It doesn't have to look perfect when you curl it, because it'll look perfect later, of course. All right, again, going for that back section, curling away from your face. If you have a lot of hair, make sure that you're using small sections. For me, I'm doing about two to three inch sections because my hair curls very easily. But if your hair does not curl easily, the smaller the section, the better. We need that curl. Now with this section of hair, I'm doing kind of what I did in the front, but in a mirrored view in the back. So now we are going to spray with a nice flexible hold hairspray and let it dry. This can take some time so you can see I'm going to do my lipstick. I've already put on my beautiful 70s shimmery eyeshadow where they would usually pick a pastel or a shimmer and put it all over the lid and even higher and lower than that too. I'm not going to do that because but we also do a little bit more mascara. Perfect. All right, so now we need to take out all those crocodile clips. Make sure that you maintain the curl as you do. Don't just rip the crocodile clip through if you can help it. All right, so now we need to shake that out. We need to get some volume back in there. Perfect. So now with our brush, we are going to brush down from that point that we made at the beginning and we're going to make our curls at the end of our hair. Now again, we're going for that circular curl all around the head. Some people would connect all the way around so it was a perfect circle, but as you can see, I'm going to keep my part because I don't really have the right haircut for the perfect circle. This may take some fluffing, some readjusting, some rebrushing, but if you curled your hair and let it set for long enough, your curls should be pretty flexible. All right, looks like we have our look. Spray it in place, of course. 
you may need to do a little bit of tweaking even after you spray. All right, so now we need some final touches, like a denim jacket, like some aviators, and boom, we're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, different hair lengths will make it look different, but just have fun and do whatever you can.